Police will give an update this week on the temporary alcohol ban for Little India and the suspension of private transport services. To discuss the issue, I have with me Vikram Nayar, member of the Government Parliamentary Committee for Home Affairs and Law. So, Vikram, thank you very much for coming in today. So, uh, after the riot, you went to the dorms. What did you get out of the conversations when you spoke to the foreign workers? Um, well, the foreign workers we met with were Tamil speaking. And, I mean, one of the things that uh, struck me was, you know, all of them were unanimous in condemning the riots. Um, they were saying that this is not representative of you know, the foreign worker community uh, generally or even you know, uh, what they stood for. Um, they were also, I think, quite clear that you know, they were very happy to be in Singapore. I think one of them said that um, you know, coming to Singapore, uh, he gets to improve his skills and so on. So it generally seemed that they were actually quite happy to be here. Uh, and they went through a lot to get here in the first place. Um. Let's talk about the alcohol ban at the Little India. You've said that you are against a total ban, mm. but you're still suggesting banning drinking in public places or certain areas. How do you see that working? Well, I mean, I think public places is very generic, but I think there are two ways it could operate. Um, you know, one is that you prohibit it in certain areas, such as you know, void decks, residential areas, and maybe streets. Another way is you prohibit it everywhere except certain areas, you know, such as um, the fields or areas where you don't mind them congregating. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's probably you know best to speak with the local MPs and police to find out you know which would work best. But I don't think there's a need to carry on with the ban. You know, establishments where foreign workers don't even go to, you know, such as some of the bars, restaurants, and so on. Well, are there certain aspects of legislation in other countries, for example, Australia or the UK, which have worked there, which you think might work in Singapore? Well, I mean, they have legislation that um, prevents drinking uh, in streets, and uh, I think, you know, you get told off you have open bottles in the streets as well, even if you're not drinking. So these are certainly rules that, you know, they have uh, and that they have, you know, applied. So I don't think it's impossible to do. So um, there have been proposals for a curfew for foreign workers, and we posed this question to uh, a member of the Little India Shopkeepers and Heritage Association yesterday. He said it wouldn't work. What's your opinion on that? I think it may be difficult to impose a curfew because that would also mean that you know you would have police checking people you know to see whether they're foreign workers or not at random points, and some people might find that too much of an invasion of their rights. So suggestions are to have foreign workers to perhaps congregate or meet in places which are a bit further away from residential areas. But Singapore is not a big country; it's a small country, and this might be hard to implement as well. Um, I actually think that's quite workable. I mean, you know, I've talked about the Woodlands Recreation Centre in my own area, but there are others such as, you know, Panjuru, some of the lodges such as Kranji already have a lot of these facilities. And I understand last Sunday many of the workers did go to these facilities. So it might be that, you know, the rules in the Lindy get more restrictive, they will naturally gravitate there, which I think is not a bad situation. So you're saying that the construction of more recreation centres is, is one of the ways uh, yes. to move forward? Yes. Okay, finally, the big news today is uh, that police say substantive or substantive investigations into the riot have been completed. So uh, it's good news, but what's your view on the investigations? Do you think that uh, the outcome has been fair to all parties involved? Uh, certainly the sense I had is that the police wanted to be fair to all parties. You know, you didn't want to prosecute people who just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And it certainly sounds like they have distinguished between the categories of people. Um, you know, as to the merits of the case, I guess that's something uh, that will be determined in the courts. All right. Thank you very yeah. much for coming today. It's a pleasure thank speaking you. to you. Good to meet you. And that was Vikram Nair. He is a member of the GPC Parliamentary Committee for Home Affairs and Law.